Now, this is the first book in the Endangered Species series. Nope. Nope. Got that one wrong. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I think you know what this video is for. It is a review over the case of the cursed dodo by Jake G. Panda. This is the first book in the Endangered Files series. I ended up receiving a copy of this by the author. He contacted me earlier last year to see if I wanted to read and review the book. And I said yes. It sounded so intriguing and so much fun and I'm so glad that I did because I absolutely loved this book. The author sent it to me earlier last year and I did read it last year. I posted a review for it on Goodreads because I didn't know when exactly I would get the review filmed and edited and uploaded and then I just stuff happened and I feel really bad. But I read it a second time because I wanted to kind of refresh my mind before I actually sat down and reviewed it and I absolutely loved it yet again. I found a lot more clues in the writing and I loved it so much more for that. So I just wanted to say thank you very much, Jake, for sending this book to me. I do apologize for how long it's taken me to get it up here, but thank you. I hope that more people read it because it's absolutely amazing. The case of the cursed dodo begins with a mysterious suitcase getting found and on this suitcase is a postcard or poster or sticker for the wildlife's last resort, no pun intended, literally it's for those that are endangered and are the last of their kind, they can go here and kind of live out their life without the worry of being hunted or poached. Now, if those of you who do not know, to this day there are still endangered animals, endangered species that are getting hunted and killed. And it's sometimes being done for sport and other times it's being done for collectors, but either way it's so wrong to be hunting endangered animals because they should be able to stay alive so that other people can actually get to see them because these are such amazingly beautiful creatures. Just don't get too close to some of them. This mysterious suitcase ends up getting found and then we flash forward to Jake who lives at the wildlife's last resort in room 618 and if you're ever in need he is the resident detective, so you can go to him and he will help you with your problem. Little does he know that this day he is going to end up getting pulled into a whirlwind of an adventure. And it all starts when he receives a phone call from the professor who's in trouble. If you like mystery, then this book is for you. If you like suspense, this book is for you. If you like danger, you're gonna like this. If you like humor, comedy, laughter, if you like that, which I, I bet most of you do, you're gonna like this book. If you like friendship, definitely a book for you. If you like a book that takes you to different places around the world, this book is for you. And one of my favorite things about this book, if you like hotel life, you are gonna love this book because what better setting than wildlife's last resort. So I thought I would mention a few things now. I'm gonna keep this review completely spoiler free because I really want to encourage people to read this book because I think it is really unique because of the actual writing style. The story is told through in Danger D Scope. Yes, if you've never heard of it, I hadn't before I came to this book. Basically, it's a mixture of storytelling, narration, and yes, pictures. This is like you're reading a movie, okay? Don't get creeped out by that. There's like cue in scenes, there's um, foreshadowing scenes, there's cut to scenes. 
it really does feel as if you're reading a story that could easily be turned into a script for a movie or a TV show, but the whole thing is, the book is written in a really unique way that I've never read before and it instantly clicked for me. I was instantly drawn into the story and I loved every minute of it. And because of how the story is written, it makes it really hard to put the book down because who doesn't like a really good story? As I said before, the main setting for this story is Wildlife's Last Resort. There are so many amazing things about this book and it's not just the writing. There are really unique characters in this story. There's Jake, there's Ernie, Daisy, Rose, Diego. I don't really want to tell you too much, but all of these characters are given details and all of these characters have really unique backstories. Now, again, with what I said earlier with, about actual endangered species being hunted, a lot of the things that have happened to these characters are really unique to them, but it's not really unique to what happens in real life. Ernie is an elephant, and he actually had his tusks taken from him because somebody decided that they wanted the ivory of the tusks. That's something that is not unique to real life. There are a lot of elephants who have their tusks removed and they get sold on the black market for huge prices. And you kind of sympathize with these animals having these things happening to them, or they've already happened to them, I should say. And they, you know, they have to live with these. And these are things that are really personal to them. And I think it really changes your perspective on endangered animals. There is a book trailer and I watched that before I actually went and read the synopsis of the book and I kind of got this feeling when I watched the trailer and when I was reading the story it's a little bit similar to Casablanca and also when I was reading through the story just because of some of the situations I saw I also saw similarities to Indiana Jones. So I would say if you guys are fans of those two movies or if you've seen them and you like them, that's another thing that maybe will spur you forward on picking up this book and reading it. Again, as I said, I absolutely loved it. I hope that more people pick this up and read it because I really enjoyed it and I love when people can pick up a book and enjoy reading. So this book I think is great for any age. It is a middle grade novel. But I think anyone who loves books and loves reading different ages loves reading something that has a lot of really good writing. And that's exactly what this has. So, I thought what better way to celebrate an amazing book that I really enjoyed than to do something I haven't done in a while, which is a subscriber giveaway. Yay! So I'm going to be giving away not one, not two, but three copies of The Case of the Cursed Dodo by Jake G. Panda. So if you are a subscriber, you are the legal age where you live, or you have your parents' permission because you are going to have to give me your address if you win, and you have watched this review, then you can enter this giveaway. So all I need you to do is comment down below and do two things. The first is say, I want to be entered in this giveaway. The second thing is, let me know what kind of appeals to you as to why you would like to read this book. What was it that I maybe said, or you watched the trailer and it kind of piqued your interest, or you read the synopsis of the book and it kind of intrigued you to read it? What intrigues you about reading this book, or what makes you want to read this book? I am always intrigued by that part of, you know, why people want what they want. Is that weird? Probably. It probably is. 
Anywho, I'm going to leave this open for one month. So one month from today, which is going to be, what's the date today? <laughs> I think it's June 17th. Yeah, it's June 17th. So one month from today is going to be July 17th, my older sister's birthday. On July 17th, I am going to close down the entries for this giveaway and I am going to have you guys come back here because I will post a video showing the selection of the three winners. And yeah, then I will contact you privately through YouTube on your channel and I will let you know that you've won. You'll have 72 hours to get back to me, and if not, then I will have to do another video selecting whoever doesn't contact. I'll reselect the winner. And I just wanted to mention, I forgot to mention this before. Number one, this is open international. I do not like cutting off subscribers. I think everyone should have a chance to win something. So as long as you have an address that I can mail to here on Earth, planet earth you can enter this giveaway and the second thing is you do have to have a youtube channel in order to enter this giveaway because you'd have to be subscribed to my channel therefore you'd have to have a youtube channel to be able to do that so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this review i hope you guys go and enter this giveaway if this book interests you and I will talk to you in my next video. I hope you all have a lovely day, and I will see you next time. 